In this video, I'm going to introduce you to tables, tally charts, pictograms and bar charts and tell you about some of their features. Let's start with tables. This table is showing how different children get to school. You can see that there is a column showing the way children travel and a column showing the amount of children that travel in that way. Tables are good if you already know your information and you don't need to go and find anything out. Next is a tally chart. Tally charts are good if you don't yet know the information you need. You can start with a blank one and fill it in. This one shows favourite pets. This time you can see three columns. One showing the pet, another showing the tally, and another showing the total. When you're filling in a tally chart, you ask people the question and then draw one small line for each person. When you have four lines, you draw the fifth one going across. This makes it easy to count later on. Pictograms use pictures of the information. It looks like a tally chart, but with pictures instead of lines. The difference is that each picture doesn't always mean one. You need to look at the key to help you count. In this pictogram about Smarties, each Smartie means two people, so you count in twos. Look closely to find the key. And finally, this is a block graph. You show the information by drawing blocks. This one shows the pets the children have. You can see that on one side it shows the amount of children, and at the bottom it shows the different pets. You can see how many each pet there are by looking at the where the bar finishes. See if you can draw any of these charts, diagrams and tables at home.